So you want to modify your car to look similar to this. But well, today, I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I know a lot of people that watch these videos haven't subscribed. So hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. And let's get straight back into the video. Now, modifying your car isn't the easiest task in the world, but if you're stupid enough like myself to take on the task of doing it, I'm going to show you exactly how to get your car to go from this to this. Now, I will tell you how much I spent on the car and how much I paid for the car towards the end of the video, but I will say cars are very niche. Some people will have a different taste to this. This is my taste. This is how I wanted the car to look. Some people will be different. So take what you can from this video. It may be different to how I did it, but it definitely will help you. So the first thing I want to go into and is the most obvious one of all is the paint job. Now this is painted in Nardo Grey. Now, fortunately, I could get this done myself, but if you wanted to do this yourself, you would probably have to take it to an independent body shop or Volkswagen body shop if they do this sort of stuff. Now, this sort of thing will cost you around two and a half to three thousand pounds. Damn! So that'll be take the car to them, they'll take the whole car apart and they'll paint it for you. But some people don't go with that option, they go with wrap. Now, wrap is a really good option to do with your car. If you want to change the color of it, maybe you, you're on the edge of the color. Now you're like, oh, maybe I don't like that color in the future so I can take it off whenever I like, of course. I went quite neutral just in case I didn't like it and it turned out perfectly. However, if you did want to wrap your car, it is cheaper than paint, but it, the prices are going up because a lot more people are doing them. So you're looking at around 1,500 pounds to 2,000 pounds for a good, good wrap. And again, they will take the car apart for you. They will wrap everything and it should look really good. But that is a cheaper way changing the color of your car now the next thing we're going to go into is the wheels now wheels can be very expensive if you was to go for a genuine set or a very high brand set i didn't go for that option i went for reps now i usually go for reps because i haven't got three thousand pounds or more to spare on a car you are a brokey wheels I think, as I said in previous videos, make the car. If you've got a terrible set of wheels on your car, they aren't going to look very good against a really nice car and it will just kill the whole look of the car. So you need to choose your wheels wisely. I think these suit this car really well. These are BBS LM reps. They cost around £500 and they were in reasonable condition. I just got them powder coated, which was about £50 a wheel in chrome. So they look quite good but that is obviously another option however if you did want to go real wheels again if you're driving the car hard you're taking it on track or you just want a nice set probably best to go genuine but they can get quite expensive oh my god these are probably more prone to buckle and crack i've never had any crack or buckle touch wood but they have held up just fine so that is another option go for reps or go for genuines either or i think wheels will make a massive difference on your car Next, we have the suspension. This car is on air suspension, V2 to be specific. Now, I got this second hand. I opted to go to air suspension. I didn't really want to run static, but of course, if you're not a show car and you're daily driving this car, you just want a nice looking car, a street build, you could say, air suspension probably wouldn't be the best option. This suspension, when I bought it, second hand this was around 12 months ago i would say and it cost me 1200 pounds and that was a good price it was brand new they were about two and a half to three thousand pounds including the management for it so air suspension can get very expensive especially if you're going for the newer version and it is a bit of a hassle to fit however if you're not going to go air suspension and you are going to go coilovers that would probably be a better option for a street build moving on to one of my favorite mods to do on a car and that is a splitter kit now, a splitter kit, I think, always makes the car look 10 times better. I don't know why, it just looks really low and looks really aggressive with a splitter kit. I've got the Cooper R front splitter, and then I've got the TRC side skirts and rear spats. Now, they will probably set you back brand new. These side skirts will probably cost you about £150, and the rear spats will be about the same. This front splitter, you're probably going to end up getting it second hand or brand new. You're looking at about... 80 pounds or something so not too expensive for a full splitter kit on the car and it does give you that really aggressive low line look next we're going on to bumpers now this is an r32 front bumper and i do have the r line rear bumper as well 
Now, I think changing the bumpers on a car is perfectly fine. I don't know why people hate it so much, but this isn't an R32. Of course, it's a GTI, but the R32 front bumper does look the best. That's why I chose this one. I got this second hand again, but it was in perfectly good condition and it just got repainted anyway, so there was no problem. And that cost me, as horrible it is to hear, it's 50 pounds. And now they're going for about 500 pounds. And the rear bumper, the R-Line rear bumper, now these are extremely hard to come by nowadays. You can get them from companies if they can get it shipped to you. They don't ship to the UK. So if you've got one, it is like gold dust for some people. I have one and I bought it for 300 pounds. And now I think you can get one for around about a thousand pounds. So if you can get one of them bumpers or you can get one of these bumpers cheap, snatch it up, do whatever you need to do it and sell it or put it on your car for cheap. But they make the car look 10 times better in my opinion makes it look more new and way more aggressive now i won't go into too much detail about the finer things on this car like the gloss black grill that i wrapped and the gloss black grills little stuff like that i'm not going to include also the black indicators there the anniversary side skirts and the gti rear lights and the smoothed tailgate there they were all little bits that we did while it was getting painted. Not really too expensive to do. Now, one thing I do want to go into on the back of the car is the exhaust. Now, I know a lot of people decide to do the exhaust before they make the car look nice, which I don't blame them because I have done that on previous cars as well. And exhaust is a main thing. It makes you enjoy the car. It makes you enjoy driving it. You can hear it more and people look at you more when you've got a loud exhaust. But yeah, this is just a Sportex back box pretty cheap it was about 150 pounds online wasn't too major i wanted to go for the single exit i didn't want the jewel because i didn't want it to be classed as an r32 replica but i quite like the one single exit on these i think it looks really nice so i think a nice little touch on a car like this is doing the interior now of course it's on air suspension so we have the tank and i've wrapped the rear in alcantara and i've put a white k brace in there to match the tank I think the interior on a car makes a massive difference, especially because you're going to be sat in it, driving it. I think you want to be sat somewhere that looks pretty damn nice. And of course, we have the front as well, wrapped in Alcantara. These little bits make you love the car even more because you get in it and you enjoy sitting in it. And the last thing I want to go into is, of course, the seats. Having a nice set of seats in your car really sets it off. When you're looking at it from a distance i chose red because it really stands out against the nardo and of course we do have a few red accents along the car and i think it matches really well but having a nice set of seats in your car will really set it off now those seats cost me around 400 pounds plus the seat in mounting which is omp which are about 150 pounds each so all in it cost me around about 700 pounds so I think we covered all the main points on this car. Of course, I am missing a few little bits here and there that I didn't really feel the need to put in there because you want to know how to make it look similar to this and not about all the little things that set it off. Now, I'm going to put the price on the screen now of how much I've spent on this car. Now, please remember this is excluding labor and this is excluding all of the maintenance that I've done on this car over the course of two years that I've had it. So yeah, treat it as you will. You can get it similar priced as that. However, you probably won't get it exactly the same. Now, I want you guys to drop a comment down below. Do you think I've done quite well on this car with what I had? Do you think I overspent? Or do you think I should have just left it standard how it was? I want to know, so put it down in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. I hope this video does help you as well in making your own car unique to yourself. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Stay tuned for more of this and I'll see you guys in the next one.